Hello guys, Softoni here again. Uh, first, like always, I want to thank you for watching this uh, video. And in today's lesson, we're going to create a uh, creative space particles or sp uh, space background. So stay along with me. And uh, this is what we're going to create today. All right, uh, we're back here in After Effects and first of all, uh, like always, we're going to create a new composition. Hit Ctrl uh, plus N on your keyboard or hit here this little icon to create a new composition. Uh, we will name it Space Scene. For this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to be using this uh, full HD composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration 10, 10 seconds long. Hit OK and then go here in our timeline uh, and then right click to create a new solid layer. We will name it uh, background, also 1920 by 1080. Uh, if you want, you can hit here to make a comp size and then hit OK. First effect that we're going to use is uh, ramp effect. Go here to effects and presets. If you can't find this effects and preset, go window and then uh, just hit effects and preset here. And it will be shown here on the right side of your screen. OK, uh, like uh, I already said, first, first effect will be ramp and then just drag and drop to our background and for this uh, start of ramp we will do here and for end of the ramp we will do here uh, first color we will leave uh, to pure black and for for the second color we will do uh, maybe dark dark uh, gray color something like this okay uh, next effect that we're going to use is noise hls just drag and drop on uh, our background and for hue lightness and saturation we will do 2% just to prevent this uh, background from uh, this little bending okay next thing what we're gonna do uh, is to uh, create another solid go right click then uh, new and then solid and we will name it space particles Okay, also 1920 by 1080 and then hit OK. Uh, first effect that we're going to import here uh, is uh, Starburst. And for this effect we will do here some changes. For Scatter maybe around uh, 220. When we hit 0 we're getting something like, like this, but it, uh, those particles are now too fast. For speed we will do 0 0.02, uh, size um, maybe around 24 and for grid spacing maybe around 9. Now when we hit 0 we're getting those little particles here in our scene. Okay, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to import effects to better see our particles. We will also do ramp here and then for the first uh, color we will choose maybe uh, something like this for second color also maybe a gray color hit ok and this is how now this uh, looks like here in our timeline really awesome okay also we will do uh, gaussian blur maybe around two percent Cool. For this uh, space particles layer, we will hit T on your keyboard or, or hit this on this little icon, find on transform, and for opacity, uh, go around 70%. Also, next thing what we're gonna do is to uh, duplicate this space particle scene and then uh, also add another effect, glow, here in effects and preset. And for glow, we will do maybe around glow threshold 40%, glow radius also 40 and glow intensity 1.2. Okay, now this is looking really nice and realistic. Nice. Okay, 
uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to uh, import uh, uh, our next effect uh, and first uh, we're going to create uh, a new solid layer hit right click then go new and then also uh, hit here to create a new solid we will name it light sweep and then hit OK. Now look for light sweep effect. Light sweep, CC light sweep, drag and drop here. And for this uh, light sweep effect, we will also add a fill color. Just, uh, just use our blending modes. For this fill color, uh, hit uh, this uh, blue color. And here for blending modes, go and find add. OK. For this width, we will do maybe around 85%, uh, sweep intensity to 5, uh, for direction 90%, uh, for the center go around here to, to center this light sweep, uh, edge intensity 0 and edge thic thickness also 0. Really cool. Also, what we can do is to duplicate this uh, light sweep effect, but uh, before that we will do also uh, Gaussian Blur. Gaussian Blur and maybe around 10%. Okay, just duplicate this light sweep layer and then uh, we can rotate to, to look this, uh, to make this scene even better looking. Maybe around 45, minus 40, 45%. And hit V on your keyboard to move it here to the left. Something like this. Also hit T on your keyboard to lower this opacity. Maybe around 55. Alright, uh, next effect that we're going to use is Lens Flare. So first uh, we will create uh, again a new solid. Uh, right click here in our timeline and then go new and create a new solid. We will name it Lens Flare. Uh, also 9020 by 1080. Hit OK. And then first effect that we're going to import here is Fail. Uh, choose this black color. Uh, this here is really important, this blending mode, uh, we will do add just to see our uh, white parameters of uh, those uh, solid layers. So next uh, effect what we're going to import is lens uh, flare, just drag and drop to our media and we will do add blending mode here. For this flare center go uh, something like this here and also, uh, we will lens type do uh, 35 millimeters prime, maybe something like this. Uh, awesome. Uh, we can also uh, duplicate this effect and add another effect, uh, Gaussian Blur. And for Gaussian Blur, maybe we will do for about 30% to get this something like a blue spot. You can also play around with opacity, hit T maybe around 50% or so. Okay, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to uh, add another uh, effect. Uh, first, uh, we will create also new solid, file new, and then go. We will re uh, repeat the process, call it fractal noise. We will do a uh, shape to uh, make this scene even better looking, hit OK and then find here fractal noise drag and drop to our solid layer and we will make a few adjustments here in this fractal noise effect for this fractal type uh, we will do um, dynamic progressive um, noise type to go uh, spline for contrast maybe around uh, 120 for brightness uh, minus 60 Complexity we will do maybe around three, and for uh, in this transform panel, uh, go and hit here scale maybe around 185, something like this. We can also rotate this shape if we want something like this, and uh, uh, we will do here blending mode screen. Also, hit T on your T uh, keyboard to lower opacity maybe around. 15% uh, or something, 
Also, we will add another effect on this here fractal noise. Hit Triton. We will collapse this effect for now. Drag and drop here and find your color. I will do for this tutorial purposes maybe this, this kind of really cool looking blue color. And for me, this is looking really, really, really awesome. Okay. Um, next thing what we're gonna do uh, is to add another uh, another light effect. Go right click here and then new, also solid. We will call it light white, also 1920 by 1080 and uh, find this uh, light white effect in here. Okay. And uh, next thing what we're going to do uh, is uh, to adjust also a few settings here for completion, maybe around 65%, intensity, maybe around 50, something like this. Also, we will add an, uh, another Gaussian blur here, Gaussian blur, maybe around uh, 170. And we will also scale scale this up a little bit, maybe around 102, just to see completely our layer uh, because of this uh, uh, blur effect. Okay, and for the blending modes, we will do this uh, overlay here, something like this, just to see slightly here uh, these colors here uh, in our timeline. Okay. Uh, when we hit zero, we're getting really, really cool animation. Also, next thing what we're going to do is to create uh, our text. Go and grab here this type horizontal tool. And on this center of this, uh, 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 of, of this our scene, go and find, uh, I will do Montserrat font, maybe Montserrat regular for text height um, maybe around 100 and I will type our space. I will align it here to the center. 100, okay. Maybe to go Montserrat semi bold, something like this. And open up this uh, text panel here, go animate and fi find tracking. For tracking, uh, may maybe we will do for this keyframe around 10, something like this. And uh, next thing what we're going to do is to uh, go and paragraph ta tab and center this text. So our tracking will be here from the center uh, to the left and to the right. Now hit to align here again. And for this first tracking amount, hit this stopwatch for um, this first keyframe and then go up to maybe around seven seconds and go around 55. Now, when we hit zero, we're getting this really, really cool animation. Also, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to um, add another effect here, go to animate and then find here blur. Also go here and find uh, on this uh, animator too, find property and then find opacity. For opacity, go to 0% and then we will uh, animate this offset parameter here. For this uh, first keyframe, hit here and then go around 6 seconds to 100%. And for this blur, maybe around 25. And when we hit 0, we're getting this really, really cool animation. Maybe just double click to find thinner part, thinner text, maybe medium, really cool. Also, we can duplicate this text, move it, hit V on your keyboard, move it down, something like this for this text size, maybe around 50, go, uh, maybe around 50, go and find this uh, light version, 
move it up, choose both of, two, both of those two text and move it up a little bit. We will rename our second text to maybe softony motion and when we hit zero we're getting this really really cool animation. Also we, you can readjust here in our timeline if you want that your text uh, your first text is going first, second text going second, something like this. But it completely depends on you. So when we hit zero, we're getting really cool animation. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's uh, tutorial. Hope you learned something new. Um, I want to thank you again for watching this uh, tutorial. Um, you can use this uh, technique to make your own templates or your own projects. Um, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.